Video game companies and developers have always competed with one another, forming pretty close rivalries over the course of time, but most infamously in the early 90s, you know, the whole Sega versus Nintendo thing. There were some pretty savage marketing campaigns there, and Atari was doing its own thing, I guess, but it was never just limited to the console developers. Peripheral companies were also trying to get in there. Although they didn't make consoles themselves, they, they, they made controllers and stuff like that for the other consoles, and they were always trying to find an edge over the official controller right you had some that would just have turbo buttons on them so you'd save your thumb but i'm fascinated with all of these third party controllers just because some of them are incredibly unique i mean just the other day i was looking around on the shops when i found Ugh, this thing good day to you i'm ryan and welcome to game quest So when it comes to setting this thing up, it's pretty simple. You've got a beastly dance mat. Um, it's got some freaking pillars on it that are kind of cool. Uh, you have these rods. You put the rods inside the pillars. Put the little these little infrared sensors on the top. Um, then you've got these cables which run from the sensors to the base unit. You plug those in, plug it into your PlayStation, and you're pretty much ready to go. It's not it's not so hard to set up. The only problem is it takes up so much freaking space that you need to like clear your entire room in order to use it. But hey, we've got it set up. Let's give it a little bit of a whirl, shall we? So uh, I don't really have any idea how this video is really going to work. We're just kind of just going to play games and freestyle with it. Hopefully it comes out well. We're going to play Resident Evil. Um, what else is this? Good freaking gun gauge. That's a good game. With this thing, I don't know. And then a fighting game. How could we not play a fighting arena without a fighting game? Let's get started. Oh, freaking hell. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit weird because I'm kind of going to be holding for my freaking microphone the whole time. I'd like to find another better way of doing this, but alas, you know, press start. So you've got a couple of buttons here on this pedal here. You've got your start select, you've got your L1, R1, L2 and R2 are at the back over here. I'm just going to go on one player mode, I guess. I think this might end disastrously. Okay, here we go. Uh, freaking circle. Just stop! Oh Jesus, what's my attack button? X! Okay, X is, X is punch. I have no idea how I'm doing these moves, but I feel like I'm fighting right now. Yeah! Kick someone! In the face, please. Basically, you've got all of your face buttons are on the infrared sensor. So you've got X over here, circle over here, squares up here for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. It looks like squares an attack too. Fantastic. Oh! Oh! Stop. Turn! Yeah, punch him. I can feel it right now. Yes. What does triangle do? Triangle break dances. Fantastic. You're all about to get freaking punched in the face. Yeah, get some of this. Mm. Do you want some freaking kicks? I got kicks. The kicks aren't working. Okay, let's go back to punches. Woo! I did that with my body. <laughs> Just imagine if I was using two hands right now, suckers. Oh yes. Just, 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 just punch, punch. It's not working. Punch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This next one is a uh, gun gauge for the PlayStation 1. Nice. I don't really know a lot about this. I bought it and I have not really played it, so we'll give it a go, I guess. Oh my God, no. This is going to be painful. Frickin' hell. <laughs> oh my God. I could already taste the pain. It's not, it's not delicious. Hey, somebody had to do this, and I'm happy to be the person, you know? Oh! Oh my god, there's a monster! Turn! I guess he saw all of this and was afraid then. Oh, okay, he's back. Never mind. Hello? Turn. Slow, very freaking slowly. <laughs> I'm being trolled. <laughs> Stop bullying me, okay? You try freaking swimming with a fighting arena, and then we'll see who's the real tough guy. Okay. Freaking hell. Thankfully, there's a freaking lock on mechanic to this game. Yeah, look at the position my feet are in. I'm just, like, playing solo twister over here, trying to shoot some freaking space butterflies. It's a normal freaking day for me, it seems. Whew. 
<laughs> okay, I think I'm done with this one. <laughs> Let's quickly move on, Sally. Let's leave. It's hard to explain just how much every single fibre of your being starts aching when you're just swinging your arms wildly trying to freaking shoot space butterflies. But hey, now we only have zombies to worry about. There's something about Resident Evil that just screams play me with weird controllers. So I've been playing this game with like freaking steering wheels, with this thing. Hey. If you're watching this video on Monday, you'll even be able to check out a uh, Dance Dance Revolution roll run of Resident Evil 2 on my Twitch stream. Keep an eye out, link in the description, follow it, you'll be able to see the video. Very nice. Wow, with a machine gun, you just hold your hand in front of a button. It doesn't do that if you use a pistol. Like, normally if you use a pistol, you kind of have to go like this. Which is a lot more fun, because it's kind of like you're karate chopping the zombies. <laughs> Freaking hell. I think this controller's growing on me like a fungus. The more I use this thing, the more I can't get enough of it. Oh, hello. Okay. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go, the wiggles work. Now that is how you break away from zombies. IRL, you can use that. Step back, and fire. I want to see a DDR Pro play Resident Evil with this thing. I think it'd be, I think it'd be life-changing. So, I thought it'd be nice to showcase an actual fighting game for you guys because I really thought Crisis Beat was like a Tekken clone. Um, so I thought we'd play, um, you know, a fighting game that few people remember called Ur Guys. It has freaking Cloud and Sephiroth beating up some random people with their swords. We're gonna get our asses kicked right now. Oh Jesus. I, I mean, I think this is working so far. Just, just... Yeah! Okay. Okay, calm yourself. <laughs> yes. Right in the face. Very nice. The biggest problem with this kind of game is remembering to take your foot off of the movement buttons. So you're not just constantly rolling around like that. I wasn't aware we were playing Dark Souls. Oh my god, I'm gonna give them ideas. I can hear the comments already. Ryan, when are you gonna play Dark Souls with the freaking DDR dance mat? One day. One day we will. I really wanted to bring you guys some platformer game, something like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro, but I only have those on my PS3 and I can't actually connect this thing to the PS3 because it has USB ports, which is kind of a shame. Um, so we'll play some freaking Tomb Raider instead. That's a platform game, right? That'll work. Hey, do you know, I've never actually played this game either. So my first time playing this game is with this device. That's going to be cool. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care about saving the game, dude. We can't be saved anymore. One massive downside with this device is that it doesn't work with games that need the analog stick. Um, it does say on the box that it can work with something like the PS2. Yes, but only in games where the, D uh, the analog sticks aren't used. I think it wants me to go up there. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. So, hippity hoppity. I said a hippie, a hoppy, a hippity hoppity. I can't get up there. Hold on. Jump, jump. Ah, oh, why ain't she jumping? It is for square button, isn't it? I think so. Run, 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 run. Jump. Oh, now you jump. Thanks, 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 Lara. <laughs> this isn't working very well. Freaking hell. Okay. Jump! Jump! I can't I can't pull off the jumps for whatever reason. So I guess that this little expedition has been um thoroughly raided. <laughs> I got jokes, dude, jokes for days. <laughs> That's our little look at um the Thrustmaster fighting arena for the PlayStation 1 slash 2. Works with some games pretty well. Um, I wouldn't really recommend playing every game with it. I think that would be a very, very bad idea. I'd say play Resident Evil with it. It works pretty well with that. Maybe the fighting games too. I don't know. I Maybe I had the wrong fighting games, but it didn't seem to work too well with them either. For a game that's marketed towards fighting games, it works a lot less than I was kind of hoping for them. But hey, think of all the endless fun you can have when you decide to play freaking Shadow Tower with this beast. 
very very nice yeah i look really freaking sweaty by the way this thing is a workout and a half if you want to lose some poundage you should get this by the way i was totally serious when i said um check out our uh, twitch channel for a dance dance revolution stream of resident evil 2 that is going to be happening this week and if you check the link down there you can follow in anticipation for it. I don't freaking know if you want to watch that, that trash fire oh, but yeah we're gonna have um, some more stuff coming soon on our YouTube channel here uh, thank you all for watching have a great day take it easy breezy